during those 90s when you were moving heavy in the streets, what did you do to have fun? And when you weren't working, what was Keith out here in these streets doing to enjoy himself? <sighs> With the tens of millions coming in every year. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you spend tens of millions of dollars? <laughs> man, I, I, I keep telling you, man, this I got to pinch myself sometime because it was really unreal. And then you don't really understand the magnitude of it because that becomes the norm for you. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? That, become, yeah. that becomes the norm. So it was. It, it wasn't nothing. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to get into glamorizing the game because I don't want to inspire nobody to become a drug dealer or want right. to be a drug. I want to show you that. Let's okay. You got ten million dollars. Is is you gonna is, you, you bought you got everything you want? Why do you need twenty million? But you just you told. But I asked you that earlier, and you said because you know you. you, you you're just gonna right, keep going, trying to get right, greedy. Point, but right, that point, you, you, the greed sets in. That's that's my whole point. Mm -hmm. So when I initially started off, I wanted five hundred. Then I wanted ten thousand. I thought I was rich when I had ten thousand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I mean, I made ten thousand like in like two weeks. Man, this shit was like incredible, man. And then okay, you set the hundred thousand dollar goal, and you set the two hundred fifty thousand dollar goal. You set the million dollar goal. You set the ten million. You, you know, you, you you set the goals, and that's and you you go out to get it, but. It's always something that brings that. It's always something that happens, man. I promise you, man. It's like I know I was a smooth nigga in these streets, man, and uh, I had a ball with the money. It's it's nothing, nothing that I didn't do that I wanted to. It's nothing that I missed. I, everything I wanted to do, I done it. I've dated celebrities. I've drove the finest of cars. I've won the finest of juries. I've traveled the world. Uh, I've helped a lot of people. Uh, uh, I've I've, I've sent kids to college and all that kind of stuff. And that, that was the kind of stuff I did to try to uh, cover yeah. up. Like the, I knew I was doing. I knew I could be doing better. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So those are the type of things I did. I just wasn't a rotten dude out here uh, shooting up people blocks for no reason and all that. I mean, it, this is the type. Listen, I got a friend, <laughs> man. My right hand to God, God, my witness. This nigga shot up the club because a bar wouldn't give him his phone number one time. Oh. Uh. And I just spoke to him yesterday. The man's a cold fool, man. And listen, he shot an innocent person. But so I, I don't have that in my jacket. I don't have that that, you know, just because I had power, I go try to crush the weak, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or go do some old off the wall stuff. Oh man, they getting money, oh man, we're gonna go shut them down. I had power. You know, I had I had a, a certain amount of power that I could could have inflict. And it didn't and another thing I did was I never gave nobody nothing that could hurt me. Because the, the way I summed it up is, if I killed or hurt everybody that owed or offended me, then would nobody be left. Mm. That's that's the level I was on. Did it ever get old to you? After you done spent all that money and did everything that you could imagine to do, and you're like, okay, now I done did everything I could damn imagine around here. Did it get old to you? I tell you, I'm gonna tell you something that, that's, that the people that, that 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 know what I'm talking about is going to agree. They're going to probably say hallelujah. <laughs> At my peak, mm -hmm. I was using four money counters. Mm. And that shit was a job. Like yeah. counting so much money, man, that it'd be like, how could you get tired of counting money with four money counters? Come on. So... <laughs> That's the part like that I hate that I eat like the thought like I'm tired of counting money because then when it don't come in like that no more you like what the fuck you know what I'm saying so now I got a saying it don't come too small to it don't come at all yeah so it used to come in you know I used to get mine in garbage bags like it come it came in bags and duffel bags and uh, that was you know it was it was a beautiful thing uh, until the shit hit the fan dog when it's good it's great and when it's bad it's sad was the low just as low as the high. Did it even out? When you were in prison, were those lows just as high as the ups that were you was experiencing out of prison when you were down? Or do you feel like, you know, the time in prison was just hell and No, no. You know. So let me that that's a very good question. So let me answer it to the best of my ability. You can have a thousand a ten up you can have ten thousand highs when one low can ruin that ten thousand highs. Mm -hmm. And I equated to back in the eighties when I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't even in the game a year, the DEA agent, we I got set up, uh this dude was trying to set not me up, he was trying to set somebody up I was serving, I just happened to roll with him. 
And just by the grace of God, we had put the drugs up and we missed we missed it. And that agent looked me in my face and said, he said, you got away today. He said, but you got a thousand times to get away. I need one time to catch you. Mm. Damn. So the lows exceed the highs because you went from everything to nothing. Oh, and yeah. I remember telling my guy one time, because <laughs> I was a, a porter in the Fed joint, and I said, man, look at this shit, man. I went from going to the Super Bowl to cleaning toilet bowls. Woo. From the Super Bowl to the toilet bowl, man. And that was just, that was like a reality check. But the jail never got me down, man, because uh, I read the contract before I signed it. Yeah. But the reality of it is, like, I'm, I'm around guys that got 30 years in life that never seen $10,000 before. So at least I got my 30 years, uh, it was millions on the, on deck. It was like the lifestyle that I lived was... Uh, it was fabulous. 